Hello friends, welcome to Help Me Coder, the channel which talks about technology and helps the coder community out there. In today's video, we are going to discuss how do you set up Azure PowerShell commandlets on your system and then using those commandlets to connect to Azure. So before we start looking into different ways of installing Azure PowerShell commandlets on your system, let's look into the current version of PowerShell installed on your system. To do that, search PowerShell and right click and open with administrator. Once you do that, type in the command $PS version table or you can even write $PS and then hit a tab key to get the full command. You will see it will show you the current version which is the PS version. Over here it is 2.0. Minimum version 3 is required for some of the commands that I will be using in later part of this video. So it is advisable to be at least at version 3 of your PowerShell. But definitely I will recommend to be on the latest PowerShell version present at that point of time. At current point when I was making this video, the current PowerShell version was 5.1. Over here in the second screen, I have version as 4.0. So to install the latest PowerShell version, I have provided the link over here and I have also provided the link in the comment section below which you can use to install the latest PowerShell version which will basically open the Windows Management Framework 5.1 download page over here, you can go ahead and download this setups where it depending upon which version of OS you are, you can download the appropriate version. Also, if you see, there are some system requirements and prerequisites for this. So based on the system requirements, you can install this on Windows Server 2012 R2 and Windows 8, Windows 7 SP1. And also there are some prerequisites which is that you need to have .NET Framework 4.5 or above basically for Windows 7 SP1 and Windows Server 2008 R2. I can show you one more thing over here. There is a compatibility matrix on Microsoft site which shows the version of OS and the corresponding PowerShell version that comes pre-built within it. So if you if I open this link over here, you can see that Windows 10 does comes with WMF 5.1 and Windows 8 comes with your window WMF 3.0 while Windows 7 SP1 comes with your WMF 2.0. So based on that, you may need to upgrade the PowerShell version. So as I showed you to open your PowerShell version, you can just search for PowerShell over here. And once you do that, run as administrator. So it, this will open your PowerShell window. Then you can write $PS version or you can hit enter tab, uh, tab key and you will see the current version of PowerShell on your OS. Now let's come back and start the process on how to install Azure PowerShell commandlets. So to do that, there are three ways you can do this. One is you are using your PowerShell console. For doing through PowerShell console, as I told, you need to be at least on your uh, PowerShell version 3.0 because some of the commands like install module Azure RM works only on PowerShell 3.0 and above. So these are the three commands that we need to know to install Azure PowerShell commandlets on your system. To do that, first we need to check the execution policy set on your PowerShell. By default, on most of the OS, the execution policy is set to restricted. To mark it unrestricted, we can set the execution policy as remote sign. Once you do that, the scripts can run on your PowerShell window. So to do that and to see how in action, let's go to a PowerShell window and check what is the current 
execution policy so if i type execution so and hit tab it shows me it is set to restricted now to set this execution policy i can set it to remote remote signed once you do that it will ask you whether you want to do the same so you can say yes once you do that now you can your execution policy is set to remote signed now we need to install install module azure rm now when you hit enter a version of NuGet is required which is 2.85 which is or newer needs to be present on your in system so that it can install the packages from the internet and it can put it over here so I would say yes once you do that now it will install that NuGet package let's wait for some time if for the first time you are doing this this may require some time okay now it says it's asking that it is going to install it from an untrusted repository so do you want to install it you can say yes once you do that it will start installing the azure packages on your system also with the powershell version you can install multiple version of azure simultaneously and then you can use a particular version of azure to do your work so see right now it is it has started downloading so it has it will be downloading different packages like right now it is downloading azure storage now it is downloading analysis services so after the install module command has run successfully and all the packages have been installed you can check what are the different modules installed in your powershell so to do that just open your powershell and then you can type get module and then say list available once you do that it will show you all the different modules that are installed or the packages installed so if you see these are the different packages azure rm and all the different packages that have installed even you can go to this place to see the different packages installed so once you copy this and if i go to that particular place you will see all these different um, packages getting installed over here so this is one way of installing azure powershell commandlets onto your system the other way can be through your Microsoft Web Platform Installer which is a free tool which helps you download and install the latest components of web and cloud tools. So this is a this is tool can be used for various other purposes as well. But if you want to install Azure PowerShell you can search for Azure PowerShell over here and then it will show you all the different tools that are available. Then you can download the same from there. But if you want to download a customized version so that it directly downloads starts downloading the Azure PowerShell for you then you can use this customized version which is the second link over here to download the same now i have provided both the links in my description section below which you can go ahead and download from there now if for example to show you how this works so you can click on this link and then it will show you over here you can click on the download version which downloads this one over here click on this one and see this one is started installing web platform installer 5.0 so this uh, once it gets installed you can see that you you will see that there is these are the products that are there so you can even search over here azure power shell so it will show you all the different things so which you can find the latest release date as this one and then you can add the same so once you click add the same and then you say install it will start installing the azure powershell over here so this is one way now the what i talk when i talked about the customized version you can uh, click over here 
to to go to this particular page of Microsoft Azure and over here you can directly go to this uh, command line tool where in and then you can click on this one so it will it will still install web platform it's part of web platform is but it directly takes you to the window Microsoft Azure PowerShell so it doesn't gives you a chance to search for other because it is customized just for Win Microsoft Azure PowerShell so you can just install the PowerShell from here directly so this is the uh, second approach of directly downloading it through uh, the web platform installer now the third approach will be using the MSI package so uh, through github you can download this MSI pa packages so you can I have provided this link as well so so you can download the latest release that has been done through the MSI package so this one is basically useful when you want to do the installation on multiple systems so you can download this MSI package and give to every give it to everyone to install the same so if you see if you go come down over here you will find the MSI package over here so you can download this MSI package and then it can run on your system so once I download this package it will download itself over here and once it's downloaded and you will run it you can really show you the screen over here so now once your Azure PowerShell commandlets are installed on the system now let's see how we can connect to your Azure subscription using those Azure PowerShell commandlets so let me open my Azure PowerShell window so the first command get modules list available it shows you all the modules that you have in your system which I just showed you earlier so these are the set of modules that you have right now these uh, came uh, by default with the PowerShell once we installed it uh, and then these are the commands once we install the Azure so these are the different modules that are there now if you want to know different commands that are present under your Azure RM so what you can do is you can say get command so you can hit a tab key under this module which is your Azure RM and you hit enter then it will show you all the different commands that are present over there under your Azure subscription now there are a lot of different commands so if you want to know a count of those number of commands so what you can do is you can I will just do a CLS so what you can do is you can use the same command there you get commands module and you can just cover the command under a parenthesis and then say the count operator of or sorry at the end you can say a count operator on that command so what this will do is it will show you the number of commands like it is showing 1795 commands are present under your azure uh, rm sub commandlet now if you want to connect to your Azure subscription how do you do that so for doing that you can say add Azure RM so once you hit add Azure RM account so once you do that basically it will open this uh, window over here where you can type in your Azure subscription information so if I type in like the my account so I have subscription information over here I will be hiding this information right now from you so it will automatically redirect itself to a sign in page where it will ask me for the password so I will ask my put my password over here and once I do that it will connect me to the Azure subscription that I have and it will show me the details of those Azure subscriptions so right now it's a free trial I have the subscription ID, the tenant ID and the environment ID. Maybe I will be covering with you all these different scripts or the different commands other than these one that I have just told you on how to use or to create a VM in later part of my video series. So in this video we looked into different ways we can install Azure PowerShell commandlets onto your OS and then how you can use those commandlets to connect 
to the Azure subscription you have. In our future videos, we can even look into different ways you can use those commandlets to basically create scripts that can connect to your Azure subscription, create VMs on the go. As we know that there are 1795 commands, hence the sky is the limit of the amount of things that you can do with those commandlets. Definitely, these commandlets will bring speed into the way you perform different operations with your Azure account. So thanks for watching and do subscribe to our channel Help Me Coder. Do provide your comments into the comment section below. Happy coding.